So there are three kinds of transmission spectroscopy we're going to look at, gas, liquids, and solids. And this one we're looking at the gas phase. We've already shown you this in the earlier video. This is the 10 centimeter gas cell. It's just a straight transmission cell. You put it right into the beam in a holder and the beam would pass right through it. This is the cell we are going to use now. This is a two centimeter gas cell filled with carbon monoxide. To insert it into the spectrometer, all I have to do is lift this cover. There's a V notch or a V groove in there that I'm just going to lay it down into. It's going to slide right into place on that. Then I close the cover. And now I'll move over to the computer and show you how we go about collecting the data. This experiment is set up for high resolution spectroscopy. So I'm using the MCT detector, which is the high speed detector. I've got it set with a very small aperture because I'm running at high resolution. If I look over here, you see that I'm running at a high resolution of 0.125, which gives me about a 0 0.08 wave number resolution. So now let's just go ahead and run this. I've already run a background, so I don't have to worry about running a background. And in a moment, you'll see a little box pop up that says it's collected. Now this is taking a little while because the mirror has to move a long distance at high resolution to get in a high res scan. I'll just leave the default name. And I've got it set so that it just zoomed right in on the carbon monoxide spectrum. So there you see the high resolution lines of carbon monoxide as the molecule rotates and vibrates at the same time. So this is the rotation vibration spectrum of carbon monoxide, a, a high resolution spectrum. If you were running ammonia or HCl or anything else, you would run them pretty much in the same way. So that's gas phase transmission spectroscopy.